Hello, Gemini. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to tap into the true intentions of the person that's on your mind. This will be regarding this person's true intentions toward you during the month of June. Cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So if you are a cross watcher, please feel free to switch the energies around as needed. This may not necessarily be your intentions toward the person on your mind. It could very well be their true intentions toward you. All right, so Gemini, I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the overall energy of this person's true intentions toward you is less passion. Okay, we also have pregnancy and we have an energetic message stating, I want you all to myself. All right. So with this energy, um, with this person stating that they want you all to themselves, this is an energetic message directly to you from this person's energy. It's an important message that this person wants you to know. So they want you to know that they want you all to themselves. They don't want to share you with anyone, okay? This person, they want you to be with them and only them, all right? Now, for some of you with this lust energy here, I feel as though this person, they do have a deep physical or sexual attraction toward you or a deep... um a deep desire for you. So I feel as though this person's going to be more passionate toward you or lustful toward you in the month of June. I do also see with the pregnancy being here, um, there may be some, some type of upcoming news of a pregnancy, thoughts about a pregnancy, or there may even be some symptoms of a pregnancy. Now, for others of you, if you're not able to have children, there, um, then this just means that this person wants to be a family with you, okay? But I wouldn't be surprised with any type of up, upcoming news or thoughts of pregnancy with this lust and passion energy here, okay? But like I said, if you're not able to have children then um or have more children then this person just wants to be a family with you okay so let's see what else comes out i'm going to be using our mystic goddess confessions deck this deck is currently sold out but i will be restocking soon okay all right so we have entertaining other options struggling i'm still a snake i haven't changed Hmm. I love you, the audacity, wearing a mask, drug, drug or alcohol addiction, needing money, and appearing nonchalant. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have mental disorder. So for some of you, this person could suffer from depression, anxiety. They could be a narcissist. This is someone that um, is not all together mentally, okay? They could even have anger issues, all right? But when it comes to this person, I feel as though... Um, This person has a tendency to entertain other options, okay? They give their attention to others at times. They may be doing this in the month of June, but at the same time, they're going to appear as though they're not. And for some of you, if you suspect that they're doing this, they're going to want you to be nonchalant about it, okay? They're going to want you to be unbothered by it. I do feel as though this person, like, they want to do right by you, but they struggle, OK, for some of you, this person may go through something where they struggle financially or there's something that um, is going to require them to pay out some money. They may need money in regards to something that's going on in their life within the month of June. For some of you, if you are currently in a relationship with this person, I feel as though they want you to need them, especially on a financial level. OK, they want you to need them. For others, it could be by vice versa where this person is struggling financially and they would like for you to help them out. OK, um, we have this energetic message from from your person's energy stating I'm still a snake. I haven't changed. And it has a lot to do with their drug or alcohol addiction. For some of you, this person may have an addiction to drugs, to alcohol, something no, lower vibrational, and it causes them to be in a lot of snake energy when they're under the influence. I feel as though this person, whenever they're under the influence, it's like they start entertaining people. They start doing things that they have no business doing. And um, we're not going to use the drug 
drugs or alcohol as an excuse, but I will say that it doesn't help, okay? They do want you to know that they love you, but this is someone that tends to wear a mask. Um, they try to put on like they don't. They may not even always show you that they love you. They don't show their true self. They don't show their true colors, but um, they actually, they're saying they love you. I also feel as though when this person... I feel like this person uses drugs or alcohol to wear a mask, like to put on a facade, to not have to deal with or show their true self, okay? Hmm. But yeah, for others of you, this person may be going through something financially, but they're appearing not to be uh, not to be bothered by it, okay? They're appearing to be that way. For some of you, if there's, and this isn't for everyone, like if there's something where you, you're needing a little bit of money, a little bit of extra money, money to pay for something, whatever, like for some of you, if it's during the month of June, this person may pretend like they don't even care, all right? I really don't like this energy. I really don't. So this is basically someone that wants you all to themselves, okay? Um, I feel like they're addicted to you. Um, they have a very deep, des deep desire for you on a lustful or on a passionate level. But see, like I said, they, it's like they want to do what they want to do at the same time. So let's go ahead and shuffle and get more, um, more messages. Give me more spirit, um, regarding this person's true intentions toward Gemini and or any cross watchers in the month of June. What is this person's true intentions toward Gemini and or any cross watchers in the month of June. Okay. Two more shuffles. All right. So let's see what else we have here. Ooh, we have sexually transmitted disease, diagnosis, symptoms, or some type of fear of exposure. So for some of you, um, this person may fear that they've been exposed to some type of STD, or they may be paranoid because they're displaying some type of symptoms. For others of you, this person may have even received a diagnosis, but please use this with um, discernment. Not everyone's person has contracted or is having symptoms of a sexually transmitted disease. I feel as though spirit is pulling out this message for specific people, like if you've suspected it or something of that nature, okay? Um, let's see what else comes out. Give me more spirit in regards to this person's true intentions. Now with sexually transmitted disease being the true intentions for some of you, like if this person were to start displaying symptoms of like an STD, they would try to blame you or put the blame on you and make it seem like it came from you, even if it didn't. Okay, so we have drug or alcohol addiction. So like I was saying before, when this person, um, is under the influence, like they get very lustful. They get very, um, yeah, very lustful. I don't like it. At the bottom of the deck, we have the grass wasn't greener on the other side. This is another direct message to you from your person's energy. So if they've cheated on you, they're saying that the grass wasn't greener on the other side and whoever they were with made them realize how much they love you. Okay. Give me more spirit in regards to, um, and see, that's what I don't like with this sexually transmitted disease being here with drug or alcohol addiction and less than passion. It's like a lustful moment they have with someone and it's the wrong, like, you know, they, they should not have done this. And there's going to be consequences to it. Give me more spirit in regards to this person's true intentions. Thank you. So we have reconcile and recovery, and we also have full of lies, but full of lies came out in reverse. So that lets me know that this person may try to get you to, they may try to um, get away with something, okay? They may try to get away with something. They may try to make you think they're telling the truth. For some of you, this person may lie in regards to a pregnancy. It could even be in regards to a third party that's showing some type of symptoms of, or thinking they're pregnant. And I feel as though with full of lies being here and it being in reverse, I feel as though this will be revealed. So for any of you, this is for, it'll be revealed. With reconcile and recovery being here, I feel as though this person, they do want to reconcile things with you. They do want to recover things. Okay. They're actually very obsessed with you, okay? 
and they actually do want to settle down but this person has some issues and i feel as though this drug or alcohol addiction is not helping give me one more message spirit in regards to this person's true intentions toward gemini and or any cross watchers okay they're saying take these two all right, so we have, I'm going to marry you one day and we have intentional pregnancy. So for some of you, there may be someone that's intentionally trying to have a child. It could be your person trying to intentionally have a child with you, okay? For others of you, there may be a third party they've been dealing with that, you know, waits until they get under the influence and this person, you know, when they're in the moment with them, they're trying to get, pregnant or trying to have a child with this person but they are saying that they're going to marry you one day this is an energetic message to um to to your person i'm sorry to you from your person all right mm. i just really don't like this reading at all there's just a lot of snake energy here a lot of snake energy here and i don't like it I do not like it. If you're already married to this person, they want to stay married. If you're going through a divorce, I feel like they don't really want a divorce. Okay. All right. So Gemini, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so much. You take care. Be safe, Gemini. Until next time, bye.